Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and to a rather peculiar video from what you would ordinarily find on this channel. I don't think that I've ever really done a Suzanne unboxing here. It's been about three months since I bought some stuff from Suzanne and their new autumn collection just sucked me in. I had a browse of their website, I put together a wish list, I posted said wish list over onto my blog, and after posting said blog post, I very quickly proceeded to place an order, which is what typically happens after I post wish lists to my blog. So maybe for the sake of my wallet, I should stop posting wish lists. Nah, that wouldn't be any fun. Now this time around, I approached the Cezanne website with a bit of purpose. And that's not to say that when I usually approach the Cezanne website that I do it in a purposeless fashion. Okay, that's probably the case. But this time I had a mission and that was to expand a little bit more of my spring, summer workwear rotation. And yes, Captain Obvious, I appreciate that there are opposite seasons. We are in the middle of the spring here in Australia, but considering the weather is more like fake spring, it's still pretty unpleasant and it's not as sunny as it typically is. The transitional season vibe is still continuing and the autumn stuff is totally fine for the current weather that we're experiencing. Now I watch a fair few of these Cezanne try-ons and unboxing videos myself because I find it quite interesting to hear how particular items might have worked or not worked on people with different body shapes and different heights particularly because Suzanne items don't come cheap but also the website uses quite a bit of heavily retouched and filtered imagery and so items that might look amazing on featured French model turn out to look pretty subpar on a short Asian chick for example which can be quite disappointing, but that's why I find these sorts of review try on videos to help. And which is why I don't mind adding my voice to the mix of resources that are out there. So I placed an order for four items this time around. I've got a knit, a dress, a shirt, and a skirt. So some of the items have been on my radar for a while and some of the items are of the impulsy, oh, pretty camp. And so, and so let's try some of this stuff on. So the first item that I have to share with you is one of their signature items and it is the Betty cardigan. And I have this here in like a terracotta-y espresso shade and I ordered the size extra small. Now this is made of their tightly woven knit and I don't think that I've ever tried on anything from their tightly woven knit range ever. This item constantly pops up though, like I've seen so many different creators try this. Some of them have liked it and some of them haven't, but I wanted to give this a go because I really like the boxy shape and I think that the boxy shape will work really well with some of the tailored fitting stuff that I have in my work wardrobe. And so, yeah, I'm really keen to give this one a go. It's got pockets that are functional and these lovely little tortoiseshell buttons here. Suzanne items always have this scent whenever you receive them. They must spray all the stuff with a perfume. This is quite strong this time around. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Anyway, I'll stop sniffing and I will try this one on. I am a little bit on the fence about this one guys. I love the fit, I love the cropped length, I love the pocket detail, I love the buttons, I also love the sleeves and where they hit me. Normally it's a real problem that things are too long, particularly because I'm petite. But I think it's the colour, I think the colour is a little bit dull and it washes me out potentially. I don't know, maybe it's just not as complimentary on my skin tone as I hoped that it would be. It's an espresso-y, terracotta-y shade, but I think I probably would have done better if this was in a chocolate brown tone or maybe a camel tone. Even though I quite like brown, my skin can be quite fussy in the brown that it suits. And so, yeah, th those are my initial thoughts. I'm not 100% sure about this one. I do like how it pairs with these pair of trousers. I did initially pop on my Anine Bing black silk skirt and I didn't like how it looked with that. I thought that it was just a little bit too dull looking but I think that the pop of brightness and lightness really does work. It's a great workwear candidate as well because it's quite conservative with the high neck, but let me just quickly try this on as a cardigan and let me just see how it works. Okay, so this is it as a cardigan. I really quite like this. I like how it still has a bit of structure without shoulder pads. And so it looks like a soft blazer, which makes it a perfect workwear candidate, but it's a little bit more of a feminine take on a blazer. And so I think that's why I really like it. Yeah, look, the style is totally my jam. It's just the color. Although I don't mind how it looks here with a lighter top and the lighter bottoms. I think maybe completely buttoned up as a top, it wasn't as, I don't know, it just 
wasn't blowing me away. I think I would be keen to try this out in another color. But yeah, this is Betty. Nice to meet you, Betty. And yeah, what do you guys think of the style? Okay, the next item that I have to share with you, and one that I'm probably the most excited about out of this entire order, is this polka dot dress here. This is the new me address, and this has been on my wish list for a while. I just held off ordering it because I didn't want to enter that evil tax zone where I had to pay those additional taxes and duties. But this one is a mini style wrap front, kind of a puff sleeve type situation. It's made of silk um, and it's a really lovely, luxurious silk. And this is also lined as well, which I very much appreciate. Now, the images of the models wearing this on the website, there's one thing that I'm conscious of, and it's the fact that the neckline appears to be quite low. It might just be the way that they have sort of draped it on their bodies. But that's one thing that I'm conscious of that I will pay attention to when I'm trying this on because I don't want to be too sexy, sexy guys. I'm, I'm way past that now. And particularly with the dress that I'm intending to wear to the office, like I can see myself throwing a blazer over this one if it works. And so, yeah, let's, let's try this on and let's just have my fingers crossed that my boobies stay in. Okay, so the girls are safely in, not that they're that big anyway that they would pop out, but my oh my, I am so in love with this dress. This is quite flattering on my legs. It makes me look really quite tall and slimming, just saying. It's got like a semi puff sleeve detail here on the dress, but it is so, it's so lovely and it's so comfortable to wear. Now, I originally had warm weather workwear in mind for this dress, but I think that the hemline is just a little bit too short for the office but I still really like it. I still really like it for events. I would wear this to say like a Christmas event, a Christmas party for work. I think that it is really nice for that purpose. So something to note is that this isn't a true wrap dress in the way that it is just one piece of fabric that you just sort of wrap over like a robe. The underneath piece is sewn into the waist. And so there's just this top part here that you fold over and you fasten here in a bow. But wow, it is, it's really lovely. It's really flattering. It's quite loose, but you can adjust the waistline depending on how you'd like it to fit. It's got a lovely crossover detail here with the skirt too. Yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this one. Now the next style that I have to share with you is pretty different from my usual personal style aesthetic, but I am trying to branch out a little bit from the simple and paired back things that I have been wearing. It is this shirt here, I think it's called the Phoebe shirt, and it has a very unpaired back color, a very fun, frilly color, very similar to grandma's doilies. But I really liked how this looked on the model, on the website. But as is the case with Suzanne things, it can be hit and miss because things that look fabulous on the models end up looking rather hideous on mere mortals like me. I don't know how I feel about this one now that I've unboxed it and it also feels rather wintry. It's got a flannelette type feel with the fabric, but you know, I'm willing to give it a go and hideous or not, let's embrace this one guys and judgment free zone here, please. Please don't go too nuts at me in the comment section. I'm, I'm trying to be zen. This is a zen place. Oh dear. This is like Little House on the Prairie gone horribly, horribly wrong. I think the doily collar looked amazing on the model, but it looks terrible on me. And this is just the witchcraft that is the Suzanne website. I mean, for me to even think that I could even try and pull this off and give this one a go, it's just, it's madness. It is just, it is so, so not okay. Seriously, I like I said, this is a zen, no judgment zone. I am not even going to ask you for your opinion. I am most certainly sending this guy back. I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. Although I am kind of thinking that you did play a big role in this relationship breakdown. Okay, and the lucky last item here is this skirt. This one smells rather substantial because it is made of 100% goat leather. Yes, I've just checked that. 
it is a mini skirt and if you recall my previous Suzanne order where I placed an order for a mini skirt it has been the only mini skirt in my wardrobe since I kept that one obviously the Betty skirt b-i-t-t-i-e not to be confused with the Betty cardigan b-e-t-t-y which I've just tried on for you this skirt you hear is the genie skirt which I ordered in a size 38 or a UK or Australian size 10. I typically size up in bottoms in Suzanne just because I am pear shaped and I just want to accommodate that and be a little bit more comfortable. As is the case with the Betty skirt that I have, this one is a long-ish mini skirt. It's not too short and so it's quite conservative on the mini skirt spectrum. This one feels quite heavy and it's probably due to the fact that it's made of this goat leather and so very much a true autumn winter item. I'm wondering now whether it might be too heavyweight for the fake spring that we're experiencing here anyway. It's got two patch pockets here as well and these slip pockets here at the back just to add a little bit of interest but they're also functional and a belt and so yeah let's give this one a go and let's see whether it will work. This is the suede leather mini skirt in the camel tone and I really like how this looks paired with my navy cashmere knit which I've just thrown over and I've just kept my Dior slingbacks again. And I think this is a really lovely look, really quite simple, very autumnal slash fake spring. The sizing of the skirt I feel runs a little bit larger than say the Betty skirt. I did size up in this one. I think that if I went with my usual size 8 though, that this would fit me quite well. Although I like how loose and how comfortable it is. And the last thing that I want with a mini skirt is to sit down and for it to ride up. Whereas I find that when I do size up, then I don't really have that problem as much. And I like the length on this one too. It's not too short that I don't feel uncomfortable. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a fuddy-duddy, as you guys know. The quality of this fabric is certainly notable because it feels really quite substantial and it feels like it will be really hard wearing as well. I think that this is probably not the ideal spring summer skirt or summer anyway. I think that I could still probably get away with wearing this skirt for the next couple of weeks if the weather continues to be quite random and cold. While I am trying to justify buying cold weather things during the heat, this is, this is very much a piece for the season that it was created for. And so yes, it fits very comfortably. It's very well made. It's a great fabric. So yeah, what do you guys think? guys those are the four items that I've tried and I hope that this video was helpful to any of you guys who have any of those items on your radar a lot of these items are their signature pieces that they just re-release each year in different hues and different fabrics and so I hope that this try on was helpful I have many other Suzanne try ons on my channel where I also try a lot of their signature items and so I will link those down below in case you are interested in having a watch to see what worked and what didn't and let me know in the comment section whether you think I should keep or return any of the items that I've tried if you want to support me guys then I'm sure you know what to do hit that subscribe button follow me over on instagram check out what's happening on my blog and i will see you guys in my next video bye or au revoir